Warning! The video that you are about to see contains language that some viewers may find offensive or unacceptable. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, I'm Medicine Mundy and welcome to the first episode of Medicine Mundy Speaks. I love the cinema. I love it. There are so many things that make the cinema special to me. And then... There are those little things that, that piss me off. But what are they? I'll get into it in a little bit, but first, let me tell you what I love about the cinema. Number one, the welcoming scent of popcorn. Don't you just love walking into the cinema and immediately getting hit with that amazing scent of freshly popped popcorn? Because I do, a lot. Holy shit. Number two, the kindly staff. There is an unwritten rule of the cinema that states that employees make the atmosphere. I usually go to the cinema that has an amazing manager named Sean Lovett. Thanks, Sean, for being a good sport, because without you and the other employees, the cinema would just be a disaster area. And that's not good. Number three, the movies themselves. More often than not, the movies are fantastic, and when they are, the experience is phenomenal. But then there are those things I don't like too much. Number one, they always have unruly children in the cinema. A lot of my gripes about the movie theater are how some people think it's cool to bring their small children to an adult movie, i.e. a PG-13 or rated R film, and they still let them run around like goddamn maniacs. I was at the movie theater trying to watch The Force Awakens for the second time, and there was this child about five years old screaming at the top of his lungs, and his older brother was spoiling the movie for the rest of the moviegoers at the full volume of his voice. But what about their mother? That's probably the first thing that's on your mind. She was where you'd think she'd be, staring at the screen and ignoring her annoying children. I can say that this was the first time they had to stop a showing of a film due to disruptive children. I did get to see the movie after all. Lucky for me, I had connections at that cinema. Number two, there's always that asshat that has their mobile on in the cinema. There is always that one person who has their cell phone on. The light distracts you from the film, and then they leave their sound on. And for what? For you to hear the long ass game of Candy Crush or Bubble Witch or whenever they get their notification sounds from Facebook or whatever application they've decided to choose. And then it gets even worse. They'll get a call. They'll answer it. When? In the lobby? No. In the middle of the fucking movie. If they didn't want to enjoy the movie, then why the flying fuck are they there? Good god, I feel like Guy Foulmouth would have been better behaved. And he's a cartoon character. Number three, those people that just won't shut the fuck up. There are those people that like to push my buttons. Those ones that won't stop talking throughout the entire movie. Now, I know, comments here and there to your neighbor are fine. But entire conversations while the movie's rolling, while everybody else can hear you? As they say, for those types of people, there is a special place in hell for them. Number four. Lines. So many lines. There's a line for concessions, there's a line for the bathroom, there's a line to get in the screening room, there's a line for tickets, there are a line for lines. There are just too many lines in the cinema. Well, I can say under no uncertain terms, for tickets, there has been a decrease in lines due to increases in Fandango ticket sales, which is that online service, so thank Jeebus for that. However, online traffic may result in e-lines, so there is that problem. Number five, the screening room conditions. Don't you just love it when you sit your ass down on some gum? How about mystery sticky crap on your brand new shoes? Don't you just love that? Because I sure as fuck don't! I've sat in gum, stepped on old cola, and gotten previously used nacho cheese on my clothes more time than I can count! Also, there was this nasty ass case where I found an old prophylactic on the ground in the screening room! How I'd got there? I don't know. Hell, I don't wanna know! It's terrible! Number six. Why are concessions so expensive? In the US, we often pay a lot of legal tender for concessions. Nine bucks for a bucket of popcorn, almost seven bucks for a pop, five bucks for a box of junior mints plus your ticket. That's just highway robbery. If you can buy all of those at once, you're automatically a drug dealer because nobody has that much disposable income. I swear. 
Christ, I still have to sneak snacks into the movies. Hell, now that I recall it, one of my friends walked into a cinema with a fucking pizza and they did nothing about it. Number seven. The fact that my local movie theater has shut down forever and I couldn't say goodbye to it. I cannot begin to fathom this fact. I'm gonna miss that theater. It's been my go-to place since I moved into the current town that I live in 13 years ago. Note, the manager, Mr. Lovett, has just informed me that the movie theater I attended closed down indefinitely due to lack of sales. Damn it, that's some heavy shit. Well, that's pretty much everything I like and dislike about the cinema. Is there anything I missed out on? If I did, feel free to comment it down. If you like us, give us a big thumbs up, or sub if you love us. And as always, I'm Medicine Monday saying be kind, rewind, and I'll see you next time. Ducks. Okay, story time. When the film Goosebumps came out, I decided to treat myself to a matinee showing of Goosebumps, and when I went, there was this drug rehab group of about 17 or so people that visited the cinema as an outing with their therapy leader that same day. Halfway into the film, someone decided to 420 blaze it, aka smoke weed, and the cinema was filled with smoke. Ironically, it was a member of the rehab group. We had to clear the screening room and head towards the lobby because they thought it was a fire, and needless to say, they refunded our tickets or gave us the option to stay for another film, because, well, they found out it didn't turn out to be a fire, it turned out to be those guys, but I just decided to take the refund anyway, and good thing too, because now the whole cinema had to be cleared since the smoke got through all the vents and people were getting sick. Now, I'm okay with people using the substance, it's been proven to have medical abilities and stuff, but... In this case, with these guys, they were using the stuff in the screening room, and they should have remembered the old saying, there's always a time and a place for everything, but there is not one of them. No smoking cigarettes in the theater. No! <laughs> <laughs>